All right, well, we have a pretty quick problem with a very delightful answer, so let's get to it. The statement reads, In calculating the current enclosed by an Amperian loop, one must, in general, evaluate an integral of the form I enclosed equal to surface integral J dot dA, which is the cross-sectional area of the volume current density, the trouble is, there are infinitely many surfaces that share the same boundary line. Which one are we supposed to use? The solution to this is surprisingly easy, given what we established back in Chapter 1. Before we get to that, let's first consider the fact that we're using a steady-state current here. And if we, if we recall from the continuity equation, since d... Uh, d rho dt is equal to zero since it's steady, we're not changing. That means that j is divergentless. And since it is divergentless, we can use theorem two from uh, the vector field theory or the field theory in general that we established back in chapter one, which only applies to divergentless fields. And we can, uh, from that, we can say that we know that the integral j dot dA is independent of surface for any given boundary line. So the reality is it really doesn't matter because of this independence. That makes using this method with Empyrean loops much easier and much consistent given that there's so many things going on with these types of problems. So that's a pretty sweet result to find.